welcome to another video. My name is Kat, if you haven't been here before. So we're gonna play What You Rather today. Um, I don't have anyone to play with, so I had my friend give me um, uh, five numbers between one and 3,000 uh, from this super cool book, 3,000 Would You Rather Questions. I got it at Meijer. And it doesn't exactly say who it's from, but we're gonna play it. We're gonna do five questions and I'm gonna explain my reasoning for those five questions. So uh, as you can see, I've already got them bookmarked. So this should be uh, pretty simple, pretty fast. This should be a shorter video this week if I can quit rambling. So, so question one, uh, my friend picked number eight. So that is, would you rather serve one year in active combat in the United States Army or volunteer for a year doing missionary work in impoverished company, countries. Um, so I personally would not pick the active combat in the United States Army just because I am a weakling. For those of you who know me in my personal life, um, I don't have muscles and I need a lot of help actually to get around. So. Uh, that wouldn't be good. Even if I was able-bodied, I think I would stay out of it and let the people who want to be out there doing that do that because I'm not good at coordination or sports or or even just listening sometimes. So, you know, selective here. <laughs> what can you do? Um, and then the second one is volunteer for a year doing missionary work in impoverished countries. Um, like I said before, I need a lot of help getting around, but I think that's the one I would choose just because I know it's not all building houses and whatnot. Um, there's also um, teaching and um, learning the language and helping to make like clothes and um, food and all that kind of stuff. And those are kind of things that I have been able to still do. So that would kind of be um, what I would do. So I pick option number two which is volunteer for a year doing missionary work in impoverished countries. So the second one that she chose was, would you rather blow bubbles that play music when they pop or turn into pennies when they pop? Now, like a lot of you, I know that um, money is important, but I hate, hate pennies. I, you know, they're just... They feel dirty when you touch them because you know a lot of people have touched them before that. And I'm not some kind of germaphobe, but I really, oh, I don't know what it is, but when I feel them, I just feel dirty right after. And so I would not want the bubbles that I pop to turn into pennies. Now music, I love music. Sure, do it. Do I get the whole song though? Or do I get like a little, like, like as soon as it pops, but... Um, I think I would choose option one. The third would you rather is have, would you rather have grape jelly or strawberry jam? I'm allergic to strawberries. Not like super allergic, but I really also don't like the taste. Um, I've always liked grape jelly growing up, but I'm also allergic to grapes. Makes my throat itchy, makes me feel funny, but I mean, I can't, I can't starve to death. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I would pick grape jelly. I know a lot of people would pick strawberry jam, um, but also jelly and jam. Um, the difference is I think jam is, it still has most of like the pulp or um, seeds or anything like that in it. I'm not exactly sure. Um, and then I think grape jelly or just jelly in general has all of that kind of filtered out. I'm not one of those people that likes crunchy or any added bits in my food so um i would i would prefer jelly just because i know that there's there's nothing else in there nothing else that should be gross um the next question was number 888 would you rather go back and get to do high school all over again or have your debt paid off oh well that's easy i rather have my debt paid off um i don't have any like college student loan debt anything like that i don't have any car debt um but between me and my husband we have you know house debt we have medical debt a lot of medical debt in the last year or so um 
so you know and then he has his car debt uh I think I would choose to pay off all of our debts just because then I know I don't owe anybody money um but also because high school wasn't too good for me um the only good thing about it was meeting my husband yeah I I think anyone would choose to have all their debt paid off I don't even think that is a um question that is um like equal I think everybody would choose to have their debt paid off um after you've been to college and started your life I I don't think anyone would want to be like you know Zach Efron and 17 again um you know unless you, you know he came back hot obviously but none of us get that lucky so and the last one she picked number 999 would you rather aliens look like the ones from E.T. or Independence Day? Aliens are a hard one. I actually have a story about that really quick. So when I was growing up, my birth dad, he liked to watch a lot of scary movies. Um, and I guess this one's a comedy, but it still frightens me to this day. Um, I, I see a picture, like I finally figured it out um what it was and it's still like this the picture of the alien still scares me it's not even the same movie um it's mars attacks aliens so when i was little my birth dad was watching that and that's all i can remember in my memory is the picture of the alien in my head um and so it's like four or five it was really little stuck with me forever um so i am personally afraid of aliens um i know everyone was like joking around with the 50, area 51 raid and whatnot but no no don't bust them out if they're in there they're in there for a reason so you know i mean they could be they're kind and fluffy and gentle and not freaky and mean maybe maybe but nope <laughs> just, just for my sake keep them in there um, but I don't even remember the movie Independence Day. Like I said, I haven't really watched anything. Um, I do remember watching E.T. I watched that once. I'd probably pick E.T. And plus also flying bicycles. <laughs> Who doesn't want that? But we are done with that. So I just wanted to say thank you for visiting my channel this week. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me. I've got new stuff on my Etsy store, The Crafting Aries. Um, and uh, those are some beaded bracelets. I put them up earlier this weekend. So uh, go check them out. I worked very hard on them and I would really appreciate if someone um, would even just, uh, you know, take a look at them. So, you know. So if you like this video and you want to see more content from me in the future, what am I saying? Going to anyway. Um, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!